Good morning. We're going to test a couple capacitors today. We have, for example, a what we call a start capacitor. This one's rated for 330 volts, 108 to 130 microfarad, and they can go up to about 600 microfarad. And we have a run capacitor here, happens to be for an HVAC unit, and this one has a 35 microfarad and a 5 microfarad because it's uh, set up for a fan and also the compressor motor. So I'm using the Supco MFD 10 capacitor tester and first thing we want to do is discharge the capacitors. These happen to be new so I know they're not charged or hope they're not charged, but anything used in the field, you absolutely want to ground out. Capacitors will hold the charge for years sometimes. And if you look at my screwdriver, you can see where there's been a couple of spots where it has actually discharged and melted a little bit. Now this capacitor has a bleed down resistor. So this resistor is actually gonna bleed the residual current out of the capacitor so it doesn't store and I believe that's to help save the start relays contacts from prematurely burning out but we're gonna zap that anyways just to make sure all right so we take the Supco which has got magnetic tips set it up on there press the button says we've got 135 microfarad and here it's 108 to 130 plus or minus typically 10% so that's actually in spec on uh, this one we're gonna look for the common terminal and over on this side it says HREM that's a hermetic so that should be a 35, and it's 35, 36, so that's good. And then on this side, we've got the fan side, which will be the five microfarad, and it's 5.0, right on. Now some things, like these capacitors that bleed down resistors on them, sometimes, the resistor will give an erroneous reading. And I'm actually quite pleased that we're able to test. Now that's not gonna work. Come on, stay on there. And 135 again. You can't get a good reading with the resistor on. The only way to test the capacitor is to snip off the resistor and then either resolder it or you can purchase resistors that just clip on to continue the bleed down effect. Um, but if you've got capacitors with you, they're relatively inexpensive. And if you wind up uh, suspecting capacitor, just replace it. So again, we use the Supco MFD-10 capacitor tester. Some multimeters will have the cap capacitance test built into the meter. Uh, my meters that I use, unfortunately, do not have the, that function, so I go with the Supco. These things are super reliable, and I think they're like $80, $100, but they can really help you out when you're trying to diagnose a stubborn motor that uh, doesn't want to start, or is running hot, or drawing unusual amount of load during run, for example. This is gonna be replaced on a unit that the condensing fan is pulling eight amps and it's only rated for three and a half. So the fan motor sounds good, bearings don't feel seized up and the uh, capacitor that was on there is burned out on the fan side. So this will reduce the current draw on that condensing unit. Hope this helps.